Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve an example which is a combination of trigonometry and mensuration. R and T are the points on a circle with center O and it has a radius of 5 cm. PR and PT are tangents to the circle and angle POT is 78 degrees. A thin rope goes from P to R, the major arc R to T, and then from T to P. Calculate the length of the rope. So we have to calculate the values of PR, R and T, the major arc, and PT, and add them together to find the total length of the rope. Now to find this, let us start with the triangle POT. Now the triangle POT is a right angle triangle at point T because we know that PT is a tangent to the circle and any tangent makes a 90 degree always with the radius or the diameter of the circle. Since OT is the radius and PT is the tangent, they are going to make 90 degrees. Now over here we are concerned with finding out the value of the length PT. So let me draw this triangle again over here. Now in this right angled triangle, let us consider the 78 degrees given. Now opposite to this angle, we have the side PT acting as the opposite side. So let us consider this as opposite. And the side opposite to the 90 degrees is always the hypotenuse, which is not given, whose value is not given in this triangle and the remaining side becomes the adjacent side. Since the opposite side is asked in this triangle and adjacent side is given, we can consider the trigonometric ratio tan. So we can write tan of angle O is equal to opposite side divided by the adjacent side. Now here we have tan of angle O. And angle O is given as 78 degrees. So let us put 78 is equal to the opposite side is PT divided by the adjacent side which is 5 centimeter. So by cross multiplication we can find out the value of PT as 5 times tan 78. So let us find out how much we get. That is 23.523. So we write 23.523 centimeter. Now let us try to find out what is the value of PR. Now since PT and PR are the two tangents from the same external point P, we have a tangent theorem which is given as the two tangent theorem. Now you can see that I have drawn a circle and A is an external point through which two tangents are drawn and they touch the circle at two points B and C. Now the two tangent theorem states that the lengths of the two tangents will be always equal. The length AC is going to be equal to the length AB. The second point of the theorem is the two tangents will make equal angles at the center of the circle. That means the angle BOA, which is this angle, is going to be exactly same as the angle COA. So if angle BOA is 50 degrees, then angle COA is also going to be exactly 50 degrees. Now the final point of this theorem is, the angle between the tangents will be bisected. That is the angle between the tangent is BAC. This complete angle is bisected, means it is divided into two equal halves. By the line joining the exterior point A and the center O. So if there is a line which is connecting the exterior point and the center of the circle, then it divides the total angle made by the two tangents into two equal halves. So for example, if the total angle is 80 degrees, then the line divides this angle as 40 degrees and 40 degrees. 
So let us make use of these points and solve the given example above. So here we have the exterior point as P and PR and PT are the two tangents through the external point and they connect the center at point O and we can see that there is a line connecting the exterior point to the center of the circle. So here we had found out that the length of PT was 23.523. So let us write over here 23.523 and so is the length of PR that is 23.523. And we had got to know that the angles at the center will be same. So if angle POT is 78 degrees, we have angle POR as 78 degrees. Now after finding out the length of PT and PR, let us try to find out the length of the major arc RT. Now the formula for length of major arc RT is given as theta over 360 times 2 pi r. Now theta represents the center angle which is at point O and r represents the radius of the circle which is 5 cm. And now to find out the value of theta we are going to use the 278 degrees we have over here. So this angle is going to be 360 degrees minus 2 times 78 or you can also take it as 78 plus 78. So we get here the angle as 204 degrees. So this is our theta value. So let us substitute over here. We get 204 divided by 360 times 2 pi r and r is 5 centimeters over here. So we get the value over here as 17 pi over 3 or changing it to decimals we get 17.802 so this is the length of the major arc so to find out the length of the rope now we are going to add PR RT and PT so let us write over here so here total length of rope is PT plus PR plus length of major arc RT so these are the values of the respective lengths and adding all these together we get a value of 64.848. So I can just take it to one decimal place and write it as 64.8 centimeters. So this is the total length of the given row. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. So if you know any other way of solving this example please comment below. And if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.